Today I'm going to show you how to solve a Rubik's Cube, the basic 3x3. Three three. The thing you got to remember about a Rubik's Cube is that you solve for layers. This whole entire thing is the top layer, and then the middle layer, and then the bottom layer. So for the top layer, I'm going to start with the white. And so if you want to do it the way I do it, then to start with the white. The way you do it is you get the white middle pieces up here first. Okay, and then you look at these middle pieces on the side and that tells you the order to put these pieces in. Since that's red, put the white red piece there. Since that's blue, you put the white blue piece there. Orange, and they must go in that order. So since this is white red, I'll line it up with the white red. Now then, since this is white green, I'm going to turn it out of the way. Turn it directly below the white green position right there and turn it up and now it's in the white green place so now the white orange piece goes there and it is down on bottom if the white's on the bottom just turn it directly below so that now it's right there and it needs to go there and just turn it up and then the white blue piece which is all the way over here so I'm just gonna get it down on the bottom and the way you do this line it up directly below where it needs to go it needs to go there and it's right there you turn it away turn that middle portion down turn it in and turn the middle portion up now then you should have a cross I have an extra piece here which happens to be in the right place but you should have a cross now you're gonna put the corner pieces in the way to do this find the corner piece that goes there this is white red green well, the red-green side corner is right here, so this piece needs to go right there. So you line it directly below where it needs to go. It's right there, and it needs to go there. You turn it outside, so now it's on the outside. You turn it down, over, and back up. Now then I'll find another piece. Since these are on the bottom, it's on the bottom, put it directly below there turn it down and turn the bottom now it's off the bottom and over here so it's blue orange put it directly below the blue orange side which is right there turn it to the outside down over up now then that piece is on the bottom so I turn it directly below get it off the bottom now I turn it line it up with the bottom get it on the outside down over and up now this top layer is solved. You should have solid colors on each side. Now then, what was your top is now your bottom. Okay, now you're going to look at these four corner po uh, places on the top and find one that does not have a yellow on it. Not the corner, the middle pieces. This one is blue-orange. It does not have yellow. What you're going to do, whatever color is on the outside, not the top, the outside, you're going to line that color up. So since this is blue, I'm going to line it up with the blue side. And since orange is on top, orange is on this side, so I'm going to turn it away from the orange, that opposite side up, turn the top the same direction, and that opposite side down. It's going to move a white piece out. What you're going to do, just put the white piece directly below, turn it out, down over and up just like you did at the beginning now that piece is going to be in position now just find a different one this one's orange green line up the oranges green is over here so turn it away up away down line up the whites turn it away down over and back up now that piece is in position here's blue red line up the blue since it's on this side turn it that direction and then the opposite side up and then top again and that side down now line up the white directly below where it needs to go turn it to the outside down over and up now then one piece left red green line up the reds green is over here so turn it away from the greens up away and down now then put that white piece back in. 
you have a piece like this that is in place but it's wrong like that would be red and green so it's in the wrong it's flipped you're gonna have to put it out the way you do that is you turn the side if it's this piece you turn that side down over and back up and then you just put the white piece that you moved back out of place back in and now that piece is going to be out of place and it'll be on top now it's over here so I line up the reds and greens over here turn it away up away down now put the white piece back in outside over and back up now then the second layer should be solved and that now there's one basic move to solve the top. What you want to do is you're wanting to get a solid yellow, or excuse me, a fish on the top. The way to get the fish is that you follow the yellow patterns. And what you do, the basic move is front clock, top clock, right clock, top counter, right counter, front counter. That's going to leave these bottom two layers the same but it's going to change your top and I happen to get the fish which is this if you don't get the fish just do it again just keep doing it front top right top right front see that gave me a different sign so front top right top right front just keep doing that until you get the fish once you get the fish stop I'll get back there in a minute It's kind of annoying sometimes because you have to do it so many times, but eventually you'll learn how to follow the signs. I'm just not very good with the signs yet, so I really don't know how to do it. Whoops, I did that wrong. Okay, I got the fish. Now, what you're going to do, this fish is going to be pointing to your back left, just like it is for me. So you're going to hold it, the point, the nose of the fish is going to be pointing to your back left. You're going to do right up, top, right down, top, right up, top two times, and right back down. If that gives you a solid yellow top, then good, you don't have to do the next thing. If it doesn't, then you'll have to, you'll get another fish, put the corner of the fish down and do the same move. Now then, if you're like me and you have one solid with the middle piece on three other sides out of place, then you're lucky. If you have the middle piece out of place on all of the sides and not a solid side, then you're lucky also. Otherwise, you may have one side like this and all the rest just mixed up or one side like this and all the rest mixed up. If you have it like me or with the middle piece out of place, don't do this step. If it's all jumbled up, then do this step. What you're going to do is right down, front clock, right down, back two times, right up, front counter, right down back two times and right two times. Since I had that one set up correct, it messed mine up. Now I have one side like this and then the jumbled up. If you have a side like this or a solid side, hold that side away. Right counter, front clock, right counter, back two times, right clock, front counter, right counter, back two times, right two times. Now then line up the corners. Now you should have a setup like mine with the middle piece out of place and a solid side or all middle pieces out of place. If you have it like this where all four are like this then don't worry about how you hold it. If you have a solid side hold that side away. What you're going to do front two times, top, right and left down, front two times, right and left back up, turn the top once and turn the front two times. Now that for me solved it. If it didn't solve it for you, you'll have one solid side with the other middle pieces out of place. Hold the solid side away and do the same thing. 
Front two times, top, right and left down, front two times, right and left back up, top, and front two times. And that will solve your Rubik's Cube.